Hello everybody and welcome back to Wild Flowers, where today we are trying our best to get this final robot. So we've got all the whirly gigs, they're called whirly gigs. Um, there are actually two left, one is logging and that one I'm not as worried about. Uh, it'll be nice to have, but that's it, a nice to have. Fishing bot, super important. Super duper important. Oh, look at all these things that are ready today. I think I do have a couple of seeds I can plant in as well in their place. Well, that's quite nice. Some soybeans. Mostly though, at this point, um, the crops are just being kept so that they can be used to cook things and make new things. Um, we do put that final grape seed in. I'll put one pumpkin seed in there. And two pumpkin seeds back here, and then we'll do the fennel when the cabbages are ready, maybe, or whatever these are already. Pumpkins are good, because pumpkin pie for Lena. I haven't made any of that yet, but um, if I don't have the pumpkins, I can't. So let's just make sure I grow them while I can. Before a winter. Okay, and thank you very much to the person who gave me a heads up on Wesley. Um, so, the heads up that that is, is that... I'd Tuesday at 7 o'clock apparently I have to be on the dock in Ravenwood 7 o'clock p.m. that is I have to be on the dock in Ravenwood to meet him and that's when his cutscene will trigger which is really specific I hate it when things do things that are that specific it's really annoying so that's how that works so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I, yeah, it looks like I had enough seeds. Uh, let's see if there's any honey to harvest, how that's going. There is, perfect. Might actually be able to make those candles for Perry at some point. Going to be looking at making things like the candle maker and, and all that stuff. Extra cauldron for my basement, all of that stuff. I'm supposed to be visiting Angus to get a taste of the mar marmalade pudding at his bakery. Okay. And then I'm just slowly getting spirit potion together so I can clear the cobwebs in the gloaming as well. But I really, 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 really want to. And it's, Sunday is a good day for this anyway. Oh, it looks like all of my uh, things have run out. My speed boost spell has certainly run out. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Right, and then, yeah, it looks like the other one has also run out. Some and small things has run out. Things I too. want, but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Okay, let's do this thing then. Apparently I might have missed some uh, openings of chests. I've got four lockpick incantations as well, so I can uh, get gold ready for tomorrow. At the moment I have seven gold. And nine gold ore, which will make me another four. So we're up to 11, and we need to get a total of 25. So then the bots will do the mining for me, and how much better is that going to be? So much better. So I'm going to go on level 17, and we'll just get everything in here, and I'm going to try and see if I can find that... Uh... <laughs> so far elusive <laughs> gem that I've not been able to find and we'll just slowly pick up more gold, copper, everything and uh, see if I can just by the end of the episode have the mining bot I feel like if I could do that get the full set and the mining bot will be bringing me effectively I'm hoping anyway, I'm hoping it'll bring me gems even if it doesn't, it just means I don't have to mine for ore. So it will do it for me. And I don't know how much or what it'll get, but uh, I can always fill in the gaps. And once it brings me enough gold, I can upgrade this pickaxe as well. I've had people saying, oh, well, upgrade the pickaxe first. And I'm like, yeah, but... And they're like, everything will, will be on one hit, but most things are one hit. It's only the gem ones that aren't at the moment. So I may as well go through one hitting the ore nodes until I get enough gold for the bot to do it for me, I think. 
I don't know whether they put that on an episode that was prior to me being able to get whirly gigs. If that's the case, then it makes so much more sense. But up until now, I just have I actually haven't even had enough gold for that. I think I did have to sell some at some point. And it does depend on what project I'm actively working on at the time. Alright, let's go for the gems. Nope. You. Nope. And uh, people did say that I was missing a chest on level 18, but I'm not certain whether they're behind where I am at the moment when, again, when they mentioned that. So, but I will go and, and double check. I am able to find my that's a uh, gem node so let's see if it's in there yes okay so now let's run through to level 18 and see if I can find the chest through there and then we'll run through to level 19 which is another one that's not actually complete either so level 18 there is a chest Apparently, there should be two chests in here, so I should see them both open. So there's one of them. Oh, you are quite right. What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Aha, finally. Dear sirs, it's my unfortunate duty to report that the damage done to our rotary drill rig, our drag line, and our hydraulic shovel, sorry, was intentional. Whoever it was knew what he was doing. Whether it was a disgruntled employee or even sabotaged by a competing mining concern is not for me to say. But the culprit will be easy to spot. Left strands of red hair behind. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Sincerely, John Alden. Red hair? Who has red hair? I'm pretty sure Zephyr has silver hair. Oh no, Zephyr has pink hair. Possibly. Vanessa has red hair. Ariel has very red hair. Oh, it might be Ariel then. Yes, yes. Which would make sense. Because Ariel doesn't like all the mining concerns and things. Wants everything to be in balance and stuff. Right, so now we're back on to... Um, just trying to... Oh, actually, no. We'll go through to level 19. Because A, there's, the further we go, the more likely there will be to be gold. And B, I haven't finished that level yet. So, let's grab that gold. Every piece of gold I get is closer to that mining bot. We're on 13, 14, 7, 7, 14, 10, 11 to go. 14 down, 11 to go, guys. Which means about 20 more gold ore, which I should be able to get. I might have to do a bit of mining tomorrow, but I think it's entirely possible to get it today. I spent the whole day here. But then I know there's been a lot of mining in the last couple of episodes and it's going to change very rapidly then to no mining at all. Won't that be lovely? And we can work on things like making potions, expanding out the homestead. Well, I've got a lot of, of uh, the homestead stuff. Someone said that the glass stuff is going to start being needed soon, so I should like keep putting that on, apparently. I'm going to need lots of it. But if I have to spend a lot of time making glass, then I can just spend a lot of time making friends at the same time, can't I? I'm all out of strength. I could eat some food. 
Right, so how did we do by the time she finished her strength? So we're still on 14. We still need another 22 pieces of gold. Um, apple pie, juice, strawberry shortcake. That was a good one. I have plenty of money right now for things. I don't, I'm not wanting for money to buy food or whatever if I need to, to get something done. But I think one piece of strawberry short shortcake will just get me enough time to spend the whole day in the mine. And then we'll see how much gold we end up with. I think this is worth it. It's a lot easier, especially, um, I would love to have it by the time I've, like, finished with this particular summon small things spell. Because it's the thing I need, need it for the most is the collection of all this stuff. So, like, I might not need it as much after that. Yay, another piece of gold. I'm getting a lot of everything, but not so much gold at the moment. But copper is good because copper helps me make potions that tell me what people like. I need to start buying chocolate milkshakes for Emmy, for example. Start carrying around things that people are going to enjoy. There's no limit on my bag seeming. Oh, well, as far as I can tell so far. So there's no reason for me to not, like, sit and worry about that either. Mm. No gems for me. Okay, we're done, I think. Um, so I did finish off the... Wee, back we go. I should have gone forward, shouldn't I? I should have gone into the door. That would have been clever. Never mind, at least I'm fast. So, we didn't manage to get that much gold out of that strawberry shortcake extra bit, but uh, it's okay. Let me just see when Bruno is ready and open. So, uh, Angus... Will be open tomorrow, and Bruno will be open Tuesday, I think. Yeah. So we'll sort out everything. Um, I'll go and make some gold bars and things like that tomorrow, and all that sort of thing. <clears throat> and then we'll go sell all the fish to Bruno. Should I go to bed? Go to bed. <clears throat> need a drink, need a drink. Don't worry, it's coming back, it's coming back. It really is, honestly. It'll it'll happen. There we are. <laughs> and it is Monday, so we don't really have enough gold yet. We oh, we've got 15. Yeah, so I've got to still make seven. It's so annoying. Was there anything else I wanted to do? Go to Angus's bakery, but that's going to be open. Will that be open on Tuesday as well? Yeah, and Bruno will be open. So let's go into town on Tuesday. Let's spend another day doing... Um... Ooh, I should check as well that Feedy has been doing their job because... Let me just check that none of these guys are sick or anything. Oh, okay. They've already been fed for the day, seemingly. So Feedy's been doing a great job. Feedy, what I wanted to just quickly check is that you've got enough feed right now. So you've got 46 left. That should last... Um, 6, 6 is a 36. That should last about a week. Nice. I'm going to give you that as well. And I will take all the eggs and wool and stuff. Lovely. Maybe eventually I'll work out how to do wool cloth. I don't know. Um, I'll just take all Fishy's stuff tomorrow. Fishy's bait, the, the 300 bait I gave Fishy seems to be working quite well. And we are again looking for gold in Demdare Hills. And also to see if I can get level 19s. 
just gonna I think if I have this this final day of mining, I reckon I could probably do it. Between level 19 and 20. I'll just mine them clear. Emerald and coal. But emerald wasn't the right one. Oh no. It needs to be like a ruby or something, I think. One down, 19 to go, or something. Around there. I'll finally get the stuff together and Zephyr will be closed for two days. <laughs> I think Zephyr is closed on a Monday and Tuesday or something around those sort of times though. Like, I think she's open on the weekends and things. So I, I think we'll be alright. <clears throat> but yeah, I have triple checked it's definitely 25 gold bars needed. And that is a tall order, apparently. Takes a little while to get. But, you know, it's the only thing I think I've really got to do other than pushing the story forward. So I kind of feel like if I do that, then I can push the story forward and feel good about it. And probably by the time I've got all the gold together, I'll probably have enough of the logging one as well. Because that's just silver and iron. And if I don't, it's, it'll probably be the iron that I don't have. So, yeah. Come on, Tara. We've got to find this gold, okay? 50 gold ore. It's not that hard. That's the total. She's already found about 30 of it. That's all silver in here. But like I say, I'm going to get the logging bot quite quickly, I think. I think by the time I've got all the stuff for the mining bot, the stuff for the logging bot will just be just be the, the leftover collateral, effectively. <clears throat> I can't believe this is the only one that doesn't have the, the star on it, though. It's annoying. I need, I need another gem, please. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> If I can get that finished just as I get the mining bot, that'd be perfect because then I won't need to come in here for anything really because I've just finished Giver's Quest. So I don't need to come in particularly for boxes. Although I think I should just run through the first 10 levels. I think I got down to about level 10 around there with it. Um, so I should run the levels again, just double check for chests with a few opening spells in my inventory. Just get it finished off. We found a few gold ores there. Nice. I could eat. Right, so we're definitely going to eat some food. Going to have some apple pie. Right, so... There are no more gems left to get, so I'm going to have to come back in here another day and try and finish that off. But let's uh, just try level 20. Level 20 is already complete, so I don't need to go for gemstones here. Just go for the ore directly. And you would think... So there'd be less iron and more gold here. But oh well. Don't make me do a whole other day in this mine, okay? I'll not be impressed. fishing down here um 
because I don't think the fishy comes down here. So it might be quite useful. Yeah, I can't believe I bought all those pearls and then I don't have the recipe for grinding down pearl powder. <laughs> it sucks. I'm not impressed with that at all. I know I'll keep them though because I know eventually they're going to be useful. And like I say, I'm not hurting for money at the moment. I'll finish off this area and then I guess I'll start going backwards. If I have any stamina left. I've got time, not stamina, so I'll take take another strawberry shortcake. Oh, yeah. Hope I'm not eating someone's favourite thing. Okay, so we've got 24. That means we're going to have another 5, 10, 12, 12 plus 7 is 19. So I need another 6. Phone keeps going. How's that? Oh, I see. It is telling me that all the bins need to be taken out. I am. I am so glad it told me that. And otherwise I never would have known. So yeah, we need another... Uh, what was... I was trying to work it out. We had enough for 19, so we need another 6. We need another 12. It's, it's getting there. It it's getting there. We might need another day. I was really hoping I'd have it done today, but we've not had luck with the gold, unfortunately. <clears throat> Hopefully in the rest of this there's some gold. I'm just not getting the luck at all. Not getting the luck at all. I only need 12. It shouldn't be that hard. Especially on level 20. It should just have gold and stuff here. Not like loads of copper and iron. Not the copper and iron are useless, but... Can all be sold and stuff, but I just... I really want to like be done with the mines now. I'm ready to be done with them. Like, I'm done with fishing now. I'm ready to be done with the mines now. I'm actually kind of interested, actually, with the fishing. Like, um, in my journal, it has, like, all the fish I've found so far, for example. How are we doing with that? Is that... Yeah, see, there's one fish I can get in the gloaming, and there's like five different fish I can get in the mine. So I think I do need to fish in the, the gloaming and the mine. It does look like, um, it does look like fishy is getting lake fish, sea fish, and river fish. So that's fine. So fishy will maybe eventually build all of those up for me. We'll see though. There's definitely more there than I've caught, so go fishy. <laughs> not that I'm going to be like, I'm not going to finish playing the game until I've caught all of the all of the different things. Because no, that's not happening. All the different fish, and I've cooked all the different meals. I will do the story, and then we will move on to something else. I could eat some... Yeah, maybe some food. I don't know. We're on 26, so that is another 13, which brings us to 20. We need 10 more. I don't think I'm going to get 10 more tonight. So I'm going to just um, make sure I'm still working on spirit potions as well, because I haven't really worked on those much at the moment. And yeah, people are saying, oh, you need to you need to do things with Perry. And I'm like, my cauldron's always doing something else. It's always doing potions that I need. So I need a almost like an extra one for Perry. Um, 
I don't have enough copper essence or powdered calcium. I made some copper essence. Let's keep making it because it's useful. We use it for a lot of things. And then see about the powdered calcium. I can make a couple of it. But we are running super low now. So I do need to get to the beach and just grab everything down there at some point. I don't think I have enough time now. I've only got an hour, so I think we're going to go to bed now. Is it time for bed? Yes. <sighs> and I'm sorry, but I'm going to take another day in the mines. At the moment, I'm holding up the coven quest until my mining is done. I've still got all the spells active for it as well, so that's kind of cool. Uh, my bots are happy, they're doing their thing. They're off fishing, they're off mining. They're not mining, actually. I wish. <laughs> so I will quickly nip down to the beach and grab all the shells and things so I can get some more powdered calcium. Usually most of it, you might find the odd one down there, but most of it's here or across the bridge, like in this little bit at the end so you, your best bang for buck on that one is if you just come down here I've got a pearl as well very nice okay so let's head back up to my house I do wonder whether Francis sold pearls to me at the point where I needed to give him a pearl or whether like pearls became uh, pearls went in his shop after that. I'd be really interested to know that, actually. Uh, do we want to go see Angus, at least? I'm going to go see Angus, I think. I want to taste the marmalade pudding. Hey, dude. I taste the pudding now. I'm so excited to see what you think. Actually, I might have overcatered a bit, so I've got a few for you. Thanks nice. for all your help. Welcome. Five marmalade puddings. Nice. Thanks, dude. Wow. I keep pinching myself. I still can't believe I'm getting married. I always had a hard time telling guys I was interested, so I didn't have that many boyfriends before Francis. Oh, that must be hard, yeah. Luckily, Francis is pretty good at asking for what he wants. And luckily that's you, Angus. So cool. So yeah, I need to probably go down to the Consciousness Centre at some point. I've got a feeling that maybe Angus's third heart might be there. There's a few people that I need to work out where their final heart is going to be, or third heart, or fourth heart, or whatever. Just leaving the flowers to let the honey um, process and I will get, I'll pull them up at the end of the season and sell them or keep them for dying and things like that. But we're back to the mines now again. So we are now at a point where we need 10 gold. So I'm going to go back to 19 again and I will see if I can get the final gem. I'll do 19 and 20 over and over again until I have enough gold. So, the first one is silver. Wonderful. Good start. Alright, there's a piece of gold. Fantastic. So, I need the total gold pieces that I have to be 50 minus 14. 40... 36. And at the moment, we have 27. So nine more. That's not too bad. We might even have that in time to get it processed today. If not, we will process it tomorrow. But I'm certain we'll have that by the end of the day. Well, as certain as it can be. Obviously, Lady Luck decides that I'm only going to get five pieces of gold out of both levels. Then that's what we're going to get. But I would hope we get... At least nine pieces of gold. 
I don't care what I have to eat to do it either. Because once, like I say, once this is done, this is the last like really labor intensive thing I need to do. And then it'll just be a case of fishing in the gloaming, fishing in the uh, mines. Go down to level 20, do a little bit of fishing down there, see if I can just get the, the various fish and see if I can complete the collection a little bit more, maybe. But mostly, yeah, I'm going to be trying to make friends with people, I think. At that point, it'll be going to going to the shops, running around the town, and my bots will just do everything else for me, hopefully. Pop into Ravenwood every so often. Oh, man, really? That was another one of those. Oh. Not amused. It's got to be like a diamond or something I need to get, hasn't it? But yeah, how bad luck have I had? How much bad luck have I had in, in getting whatever that is? <clears throat> I've had no luck at all. There's a couple of nodes up here. Let's see. And I need to give, give her her, uh, her thing in as well. But like I say, I, I want to sort of really focus down on getting this mining drone. Mining whirly gig, sorry. There, we've done it. Ruby. Gold star Satara, get gold stars on 20 mine collection boards. That is an achievement that I have got. Lovely. I think your achievements show somewhere, don't they? Like in the journal. Got magic, powders, potions, distillations, lake. Cooking, gardening, clothing. <laughs> it's lots of clothing. People. Okay, maybe not then. Photos, clothing. Definitely going to be working on making some more clothing soon. some more patterns and things like that because I'm going to be at a point where the money doesn't necessarily need to all go into practical things so you can spend a bit on non-practical things I'm not even at that point in Coral Island you know <laughs> which I will be uh, I've got I think about two to three more episodes of that before we go on hiatus and I'll just be fitting them in wherever I have a space in my second slot so wildflowers will obviously be going up daily and then all my other projects and things will be going into that second 10 p.m slot and when i have a little five minutes where i've not got something to put up then we will go back to coral island and uh get through to spring because i'm i'm about three quarters of the way through winter now i've got about a week left of winter and i want to basically get through to spring on it so just just so you know because i i'm not putting it up to tell you on the coral island vid videos so so we're on 28 we need to get to 36 need another eight we came in here needing nine i basically took up the entire floor and we still need like nine it it, it is it's slow going really isn't it? it really really is i just want automation why is it so hard i just want to not have to worry let's see what i'm oh thank you angus you are a helpful, helpful boy. Our marmalade pudding's amazing. That's worth way more than the eggs and milk that I gave him, I'm certain of that. This rate, I'm going to run out of mine. There's one of my... So I needed eight. So now we need seven. We don't need many now. We're starting to whittle it down. Uh, <laughs> oh.
it's tempered by the fact that once we finish this, I am hoping we never have to come in here again. Or if we do, we only have to come in here for gems or something. I'm really hoping the bot gets gems as well. Because then it's just going to basically feed itself. And I won't sell gems, I'll just sell fish and then gems will be for powering robots. There's one more. Lovely. So what, we're we on 30 now. 31. Five to go. Five to go. Come on, we can get five. Gotta be five gold in all of this, right? Some... Alright, Tara. Orange juice for you. Even orange juice keeps you going for quite a while, actually. Especially with a silver pick. Like, I would never be able to do all of this with, like, an iron pick. A gold pick would also be less. So that's one out of the five, four to go. Three to go. Two to go. <laughs> one to go. <laughs> oh man, I won't. I won't get the last one. You watch it. I could. Right, let me just check how much I've got. Make sure 35. I need 36. So I can get 13. No, hang on. Thirty-six will get me thirteen more, which will only get me to twenty, won't it? Thirty-six will get me fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, one more. Just ah. making sure my maths was right. My maths isn't always the best. It's midnight. Do we go back to like level 18 or something and try to see if we can get a piece of gold in there? I'd love to have that in time for tomorrow. Come on, last piece of gold. Come on. You've got to be here. Yes! Go! Go back home. Go to bed. <laughs> Right, so that is enough gold now. Three full days worth of mining. But I now have enough gold to make a mining whirly gig. So that is what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to go see Natalia. Time for bed. You're welcome. Mm. We're going to go see Natalia. We will make the gold into gold pieces, into gold bars, and then we will take it over to Zephyr, who hopefully isn't shut on a Wednesday. <laughs> You watch. You watch. Is Zephyr open? On a Wednesday. <gasps> Wednesday to Sunday open. Okay. So actually I wouldn't have been able to see her yesterday or the day before. So this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So I think what I'll do is... Um, I'm actually going to run down the beach and then run over to Marty's place.
I'm thinking I could buy a new baby sheep or something, could not I? I've got all this money. Oh yeah, I need to run down to the beach first because Marty won't be here. And I've been very neglectful of the coven lately. I do need to go and put something into the uh, into the wellspring because my magic is really low right now. Oh yeah, of course. Cool. So I took everything off the beach yesterday. There's probably nothing left. I need to leave it a few days, I think, sometimes. Yeah, we're just going to top up because uh, I want to make sure that Feedy has enough food to feed those chickens. No, do not need to do that. I'll just buy like another 50. That should last a few days. I'm not going to chat too much to people like because I'm going to have a lot of time for chatting once the mining bot is up and running, so let's just get that done first. I don't really need to give the stuff to Feedy right now, uh, although I could because Feedy is right there. Oh. Feedy, come back. Feedy. Alright, fine. I will talk to Feedy later then, clearly. Once Feedy has done all their work. Alright. Hey, Angus. Say, hey, Natalia. I just had the best idea. What if I use mango filling for our wedding cake? That could already be quite nice, actually. It's a fruit cake, isn't it? It's unconventional, but Francis loves mango. Oh, Angus, I think he'll love that. He worries so much. I just want him to be happy. Hmm. Have an apple juice. Oh, I appreciate it. Most days, the last thing I want to do is come home and cook my own food. Yeah, probably a waste of apple juice, that one. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Kai is such a flirt. Luckily, by the time I moved here, I knew not to take guys too seriously. Don't take Kai seriously. He he has not, not, not a serious bone in his body, that boy. Right, so. Uh, I would like to make as many gold ingots as I can. And as many silver ingots. Uh, well, maybe not as many as I can, because we've got a lot. 45. Okay, that's not too bad. I keep the copper because I need the copper stuff. So Natalia's almost like my best friend now. Almost my total best friend. Amazing. I need to know uh, when the consciousness center is open. Monday and Tuesday, it's closed on a Wednesday, open on a Thursday, closed on a, so closed on Wednesday and Friday. And it's open all weekend, so maybe at the weekend I'll go and visit there. Oh, I missed Tuesday. Oh, i got to wait another week now. Okay, that's fine. I think next week I'll be a lot less stressed and, and, and worried and... and doing it. Uh, hang on, why am I at Francis's? We need to go straight to Zephyr's. Once I've got this bee in my bonnet about all of the uh, whirly gigs out of the way, I'll probably have a lot more time for remembering social things. So I'm going to be turning into a very social person. Who never goes in the mines. <laughs> Right, Zephyr, I need these last whirly gigs. I've sp I've worked so hard on them. And yes, I can get them both. And they probably wasn't smart to get the logging one first, because what if I'd run out of silver? Okay, now I need to make sure I've got enough of these... 
gems. I can make another powered topaz and another powered sapphire. Sapphire would be the one. And once I can make pearl, I can get them going a lot quicker as well. So I'm going to be wanting to just go down the beach all the time and snag any shells I can find with the powdered calcium. Until I can start grinding pearls up. Right then, so we've got the full set now, haven't we? So we've now got Loggy. Woody, sorry. Do I could give a powered ruby, a powered sapphire, or a powered topaz? I'm going to give a powered topaz. One day. Five days. Seven days. Hey, Woody! Chop, chop. At least I can make the powered sapphires. And you are miney. I'm gonna give you a ruby. Hey, miney. It's off to work you go. Man, everyone needs a powered gem today. Um. Hey, fishy. Go fish. Oh, you don't have any bait to fish with. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Let me, um... Water some plants for me today. Okay, that's all, like, all of my stuff. Okay, so let's go and... Wow, there's probably actually a lot now that's gone into my... Fishing, like lobsters and things like that. Wow. This is amazing. The game just does it for me. Let's see if... Why am I not checking this before I go and see... But Bruno is open, so that's fine. <laughs> I got lucky. Okay, so I need to get some bait. And I need to sell a lot of fish. Thirty-seven squid. So fishy is a very good money maker for me. We'll see how Woody and Miney do. had fishy going for a few days without uh, while Bruno's been shut like over the weekend and while I've been mining fishy has just been going around fishing everything which is amazing so why don't I get you 200 worms 200 crickets And 200 chub. That should get me thousands back. It cost me a couple of thousand. It cost me like two and a half thousand to get bait. But that bait will last for a long time now. And so then I'm just going to work on how to get all the all the pearl dust and the the things to power them, see? I'm hoping Miney will come back with something decent, so... Fishy, hello. I have your bait for you. And then, are you not powered at the moment? No, okay. I can power you for one day, and then I need to have a gem for you, so... Hey, Fishy. Go fish. 
We need to make some more powdered calcium. I did get a few more shells, so... Only enough for one powdered calcium. Wow. I've got my spirit flame. So, the pow powdered calcium at the moment, between the spirit potions uh, and <laughs> the gems, is become it has become a really precious resource for me. So I'm going to quickly pop over to Zephyr and get myself another... I think Fishy's going to need a Sapphire tomorrow. The rest will be good for a few days. Hopefully. If I can just get one Sapphire going. Uh, no, not that. But I don't have a Sapphire, okay. I only have enough for a Topaz. <sighs> Ugh, that's annoying. Like, I've got loads of rubies. But no amethyst, no topaz. Well, one topaz. Alright, I will make the topaz so that Fishy can keep going tomorrow. I'll see what Miney comes up with. I don't know when I'm going to be able to see Miney, though. Miney could be anywhere in here, like. Oh, but no, Miney is actually here. Okay. So, Miney, what have you gotten so far? What have you managed? Some gold, some sand, and some ores. Okay. But you haven't managed to get any... Um, any gemstones. So, I feel like what I'm probably going to need to do is get gemstones. So I need to find like sapphire layer stuff. So ruby is a bit too high. I think it's around level 10, 11. Around there you get sapphires. Amethyst and topaz. No, I want to be a little bit higher than that then. That was what, 11? 13? Yeah. I'm just going to dig up all of the gemstones. So I think uh, my job now will be to ignore all of the mining nodes and just go for gemstones and let Miney do it for me, basically. I don't know if Miney will be quite as good as Fishy. Miney did manage to find one piece of gold. So that's not too bad. It looks like I'm going to have to look for the gems. Possibly. I mean, Miney might still find the gems. Uh, I don't know. So I managed to find one sapphire. I imagine without having to look at anything else. So as soon as I get enough gold from Miney to upgrade this pickaxe, I think it's going to have to happen because then the gems will be a bit easier to get. Or I could even mine the gold myself if I want to. We'll see. So we're still uh, Sapphire and Topaz here. So, so far I've managed one Sapphire. We've only been in here like a minute, so it's fine. But yes, if someone could teach me how to make pearl dust, that would be useful. <laughs> Uh, but I imagine that, again, is probably locked behind some story somewhere. I, I didn't notice uh, coal coming out of Miney either. But again, Miney is only on level 1 at the moment, so Miney might just be going through the mines a level at a time. How Miney got gold on level 1, though, I don't know. There's another Topaz. <laughs> And another sapphire. Very good. What's inside? I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Hmm. 
We can now make lobster thermidor, pumpkin spice latte, and ramen. Very good. Okay, so I've spent probably a good hour now, like, doing things for the whirly gigs. Um, so definitely this episode is very whirly gig oriented. But I may still be able to go into the gloaming or something like that, I don't know. If I get one more shell, I can definitely get a sapphire to power things for a few days. So I'll give that straight to Fishy. But I am badly running out of these things. So I'll just head down the beach tomorrow. Um, and I think Zephyr will be open for a little while longer. But the pearl dust is going to make such a difference because I'll be able to keep them going for so many more days. And I can just go to the mines and get the higher... Because I've got the higher level levels. So if I could get a diamond, which I have, I could keep one going for two weeks. Which would be amazing. So. Uh, so tomorrow, yeah, we'll get a, a... We'll go to Zephyr's and we'll get Fishy sorted out. Loggy doesn't... I'm sleepy. Probably need to be prioritised. Fishy doesn't really need to be prioritised. Fishy is just money. <sighs> Feedy needs to be prioritised and Planty needs to be prioritised. Those two need to be always going because they... Otherwise I have to water my own crops. I mean, how horrendous is that? <laughs> okay. There is a letter for me, probably telling me to go to the wellspring. Um, I feel like probably I need to do that. Everyone is doing something today. All of the bots are out. So that's fine. So, uh, oh. Uh, uh, so basically, the reason I'm going, uh, is because I've run out of my incantations again. And I have no wood. And I don't know where Loggy is, so I guess we'll have to just chop down our own tree. But I shouldn't have to chop down too many more trees for the rest of the game. Wonderful. Yay. Once Loggy comes back with all that wood, it's going to be amazing. Uh, okay, so let me put some glass to go. Let me make some paper. Let me brew some wine. That's all done now. So, you can make a candle maker, uh, a metal working table. A, we've done the butter churn. A tanning station. Some more iron. And some more wood. So, once the bots start bringing things in, I'll be able to make all of that stuff without having to worry about it. So, that's fine. So, I think I should just uh, uh, unload my crops and maybe go get some more seeds. Some more mulberries as well. I had some fennel seeds I think I can plant in. Lovely. Feeling a touch purposeless now though. Right, let's go and see Zephyr. <laughs> no. Let's go and take my... Uh, sort my incantations out. Gee. Nightmare. Sort my incantations out. Because I need them. Especially the speed boost spell. 
summons. Oh, I don't have enough magic for summon. This is why you make the speed boost spell first. Uh -huh. We need to go to the wellspring then. Or do I? Do I really need summon small things right now? Could I just pick things up? I probably could. I've got five spirit potions now, so that's probably enough. I think the we could probably go to the gloaming now. Lighten my feet and make me fast. I said once I had all of the robots together, all of the whirly gigs together, that I would then do. Hey, are you loggy. Woody. Wow. Yeah, you'll do. Uh, oh yeah, I need shells, don't I? I need to go down to the beach, get some shells, grind them up, and then anything topaz, sapphire, or... Was there another one? I think there might have been something in between topaz and sapphire, I'm not sure. But not rubies. Alright, I'll have a little look along here. And then we'll go across the bridge. But no, nothing along there. So we've got plenty of feed in Feedy for the chickens. I bought loads of that. Uh, we've got lots of money. That witch weed is quite good for the wellspring, so we'll grab that quickly. Or oh, it's Heather now. Oh, it's changed with the seasons. Grab these blueberries. And it's then going to very, very much be a case of me going into town a lot, I think. Right, that's one shell. So I think I could make another powered sapphire. I don't know. I should see if Shelby sells shells. He might do. I don't think Bruno does. Yeah, let's just get the... Let's just get our thing to Zephyr and then the next one to run out of charge I'll be able to at least replace. Replace the battery. Right then, Zephyr. Um... Oh, I didn't grind them up. Ha! <laughs> I was like, I've got the shells. Let's go. <laughs> I'm really glad the boat is like right in my house. Okay. Zephyr's like, what did you want? <laughs> what was it you wanted again? That's the last piece of powdered calcium I can possibly make. I'm hoping that five spirit potions will be enough. I'm hoping there won't be that many cobwebs in the gloaming so that we'll be okay. Why, hello? Definitely using the shells on the sapphires, not on the topazes. I did have a spare topaz, I think, as well, if I desperately need one day out of a, a, a bot. Um, so... How's check. the mind treating you? Found any goblin machinery yet? There seems to be quite a lot. I wasn't sure where it came from, but it looks like it came out of this very workshop. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, maybe one day I'll be as talented as the ones who made the mining machines. Oh, That's so cute, Zephyr. I might try and find out a thing that Zephyr likes. Although I'm probably going to speak to her quite a lot because I'm going to be seeing her all the time for the... It seems to happen to the people that, that I see a lot for some reason. Fishy, did you run out? Yeah, you would have done, actually. Hey, Fishy. Go fish. Right. 
I think it might be time for us to go. Let's see, is there anything else? We need to do giver's thing. Oh, here we are. Francis, Angus, Juliet and Parker will all want help at different times, so keep checking in with them. I helped Francis with the cufflinks, I've helped Angus with the marmalade pudding, I've helped Juliet, but I haven't helped Parker, so we may need to go and see him before the wedding. Let me go in and just see if he's about. I haven't seen him with anything over his head, but... He might be walking back, maybe? No. Ah, give her. I found you, at least. Uh, you weren't exactly who I was looking for, but... Oh, my. Perhaps it's not too late to pick up a degree in history, too. Okay. Tara, that mine near your house, how deep does it go, do you think? There are 20 levels. I can tell you that from experience. Ooh, impressive. Someone's been doing a lot of caving. Yes, we have. Listen, I'd like to study some more samples from the lowest reaches of the mine, but I don't have the skills to go that deep. Huh. Why analyze rocks instead of clouds? I want to know if Fairhaven's weather has always been this way. Oh, she can get some history from the rocks. A grad schoolmate is a geologist, so if I send her samples, she might be able to tell me how much water they were exposed to over time. I'm not sure I fully get it, but... Okay. Brilliant. You're a great help. If you could nab me a sample of ore from the very bottom level, that would be perfect for my study. Um... Give her once a sample from the lowest levels of the mine. But the coven members may have opinions on that. Yeah, I'm not so sure that I need Giver knowing too much about what's going on around here. Um, and again, I've spent the whole day like doing other things, mining, all that sort of stuff. So, just gonna go... Aha! Yes, he does have a thing he needs. There we are. You look like you're in a good mood. I am. Angus is getting married soon, and he's one of my best buddies. <laughs> I'm so happy for him and Francis. He's right there. You might want to keep your voice down. Oh, that's sweet. I love a wholesome romance. I want to get Angus the best wedding present. Not the most expensive, but the most meaningful, you know? Here's my plan. Take a photo of them, blow it up, and print it on silk. Then I'll frame it with dried turtle head flowers. Francis likes to give Angus big bouquets of turtle heads. Hey, what if I pay you for some turtle heads and silk? How could I turn down such a cute request? Well, I've been making silk. I knew you'd understand. Thanks, Tara. So I've got the silk. I just need three turtle head flowers. I can go and just harvest one of my turtle heads. It means I'll make less honey, but let's do it. That way I'm pretty sure I've done all of the people. So yeah, looking at the hint when it's like an, an event will tell you who might have corresponding quests. I didn't know that. If I'd have known that, I very much expect I wouldn't have missed the coven. There we are, four turtle heads there. And I might grow some more. I don't think I have, yeah, the seeds at the moment. There goes to Parker. I need to get the honey as well. But that's fine. Let's just see if I can find Parker before he leaves for home again. And that's the fourth quest done. The wedding's not far off. Think you'll be able to get some silk and turtle heads? Way ahead of you. This is exactly what I needed. Thanks so much. Lena says I like craft projects more than a sorority girl, but what can I say? <laughs> I enjoy making things for people I care about. Aww. Oh, Parker. Never change. <laughs> Thanks again for helping me out. I couldn't do it without you. Here. Lovely. All done. That's helped with Parker, who now has another one that I need. I'm going to just go into the bar. And see if anybody has any uh, 
anything to say to me in there. Any cutscenes or anything are in there? No, not at the moment. We can definitely have a chat. Wouldn't it be lovely if you got married in Fairhaven, just like Angus and Francis? I mean, sure, but who would I even marry? I don't know, but say the word and I'll set you up with someone. It looks like Sophia's already ready for another cutscene with me. Crazy. Back when Otto and Kaya ran the pub, Otto wouldn't have dare give him any grief. Think Otto was a bit scared of Kaya. He heard a rumor at school that back in Johannesburg, Kaya was some kind of famous witch doctor. <laughs> Kids. She probably was. I have relatives from Johannesburg. We're still looking for Bruno. Like, now I can start really hunting down the cutscenes, though. I like the direction Francis and Angus are going for their wedding. No religious ceremony, no hosting family from out of town, no twee flower arrangements wrapped in twine or whatever. Except kind of the one that Parker's making, I guess. Just the important stuff. And a big cake. Every time Angus and Francis come in here, they complain about wedding planning. And then they order double whiskeys. Maybe we should axe the entire wedding industrial complex. Just a thought. Maybe we should. The weddings are kind of cool. Parker came by and said he's going to try to keep Emmy and Finn from running around unsupervised so much. I guess he thinks there might be malcontents here, too. <sighs> I feel bad for them. I know what it's like to be locked up all day with an overprotective parent. I think they'll be all right. They'll be straight out the window, probably. Hmm. I can just buy wine from Damon. This is suddenly becoming a lot easier. <laughs> um, and if I sell... I can sell back the things I buy as well. Also, three whiskeys. Pretty darn sure there's someone in, Ra in Ra Ravenwood that wants those. So... That's great. We got to talk to everybody. Had a fun time. Got Parker's quest done for the wedding. Feeling on top of my life. Didn't quite manage to get the... Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can do it now. Let's see if the coven are about. I need to go to the coven anyway. That's a good use of a broom. Right. Is it Violet I need to speak to? Sarah, you want to go now? Sure. No time like the present. Let's do this. Here we go again. How are you feeling? Determined. Like I'm a girl on a mission. Whoa, intense. <laughs> Don't let me get in your way. Yeah. Now, let's find the perfect spot for those anemone seeds. We should follow the adept's advice and look on the other side of that spinner web. I've got five of those potions now, which is what we were waiting for. Just need to have enough to properly complete this. There is a wellspring here, isn't there? Oh, I'm all out of magic. I could replace. There was a wellspring here. I'm sure there was. Might need to go back then. Just very quickly. Um pop a few things into the wellspring. I'm out of moonflowers though. But I've got a lot of witchweed and heather and things like that, so... Okay, well that's me all topped up. 
the pack through. Okay. Oh, can I fish here? Okay. This looks like a good place. Blooming planting. <laughs> you didn't tell me I'm gonna have to come here like every day and water these things. the coven that thing was headed straight for the portal to the stone circle Woo! that all turned out fine i take it back holy moly what happened here that wraith came straight out of the stone circle we were so worried about you two it's all good lena nothing happened to us is this our fault well, the Farseer did say there's a darkness coming. That spirit got through because it's been harder and harder to balance the wellspring. Not your doing, so don't worry yourself about it. During summer, Perry mentioned that she was concerned about the wraiths. Did she? Maybe I should have spoken to Perry more. Oops. Well, as well she should be. They're dangerous spirits born of the places where the wellspring's magic has been sucked dry. Some of those djinn have been trapped inside the gloaming for centuries. This one got past us because it's darker than most, and more powerful. We must find and bind that genie again. Can I help? We must wait for it to reveal itself. In the meantime, be careful getting home tonight. Hey, give an enemy flowers to the herbalist so she can make a glamour boost- glamour boosting potions. Wait for the wraith to reveal itself. So I figure I can now freely go in and out of the gloaming to check on the anemones. So what I want to do is to go and just see how many days they're going to take. So five days remaining and I'll need to come here daily probably to water them. Okay. Which will be a bit of a pain, but seeing as most of the things on my farm are being taken care of, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And it's 11.10, so I've got time to run home with speed boost on. Oh. That scientist wants rocks from the mine, does she now? Yeah. I guess it's pointless to ask how you know that already. Because he's Shelby. Yep. It'd be for the best if you gave me those rocks instead of her. Why? Is she going to turn them into some weapon of mass destruction? <laughs> <sighs> Novice. Giver seems friendly, but you just don't know. And this fall, we can't be too careful. I want to see what she discovers, though. Huh. Tell you what, girl. Bring me the rocks, and we'll both find out what they tell me. I'm sorry, Farseer, but no! I already promised Giva. What? Can I change my mind? You got those rocks? Gazing into the future isn't the only way of seeing. Sometimes it's just as useful to see into people's hearts. You can build yourself a crystal ball in your sanctum. No one more than those around you is always wise. Well, it looks like I can, I've can. i still got the... Um, as much as I did say, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so that may have just meant that Shelby didn't get quite as much liking with me. But it looks like... Um, it looks like I can probably give the geological sample in to Shelby. 
instead of giving it to Giver. So I'm going to try and do that, I think. Because at the end of the day, I am a witch. And this is the coven. And so coven stuff should come first. Still gonna run home. I wanna save the levitation potions. I don't know how that managed to come up and I clicked it so weirdly. It's happening all the time. I don't know. I don't need a new mouse or something. I really don't know. I need a new brain, probably. That's what it is. I need a new me. I need a new she lab. Mm. Is it time for bed? It is definitely time for bed. I wonder if anything's going to happen today. Okay, well, first thing I'll do is check on all my little robots and make sure that they're all still doing their thing. Oh, oh. hi, Lena. What's up? <sighs> Trouble, I think. Mayor Otto has called an emergency town hall meeting, and there's a feeling in the air that has me pretty jumpy. So far, I've had bad experiences with town hall meetings in general, so... All right, let's go. I don't want to go in there and listen to Otto. Not after last night. Me either. But it'll look suspicious if we don't go. Come on. Thank you all for joining me. I know it's early, but this is an emergency. I received an anonymous tip yesterday that confirms what I suspected. There are witches in Fairhaven. What? I knew it. I could sense the malcontents. Simmer down, simmer down. What we need now is information. Has anyone seen or heard anything unnatural? I don't like the woods, same as you. But isn't there a less public way to... It's Sophia. Why are you green? Sophia is the witch. I've seen her. Oh no. Doing what? Going out into the woods late at night. Probably to find Juliet, who is actually the witch. I... I was just looking for Juliet. She didn't come home by curfew. I, Natalia, Sophia's not a witch. She never hurt anyone. Malcontents have a way of tricking the innocent into defending them. I can't believe this. You think... You think I'd really... Quiet! We need order now more than ever. I will investigate Natalia's claims as fully as I can. We'll hold a trial for Sophia a week from today. Are we actually doing a witch trial? You can't do that! Shh! I can, and I have to. Something's been troubling Fairhaven since... since I was a little boy. And we will figure out what it is. See you all next week. And in the meantime, stay safe. Why would Natalia say that? She always seemed nice. It wasn't Natalia, was it? It was the Wraith. That was why she was green. <laughs> the Wraith's messing with someone already? Natalia's never acted like that before. She's as sweet as Sophia. Maybe the High Priestess knows how to fix this. We'll find out tonight, yeah? I'll bring the geological sample for Shelby tonight as well. We better, because we have to fix this. Sophia's trial will be in seven more days. Speak to the High Priestess about the accusation. Oh dear. That's no good, is it? When am I going to find time to like get married and stuff with all of this going on? I don't know. But this is going to be my last day. So, oh, please don't tell me all of you guys need topping up with... <sighs> they all need it as well. Okay, so let's see. Is, um... Is Zephyr open today, firstly? Open Wednesday to Sunday, so she'll be open for a while. Okay. I will give Feedy the topaz. Feedy's the most important out of all of them. Hey, Feedy! 
get to it. And so I need gems desperately now. Um. Oh darn it! It looks like the chickens had already been fed. Surely they haven't, though. Oh, they have. Okay. Maybe that's why Feedy was back. Feedy had done all the jobs. I never know. I never know like, if they've run out of charge or if they've just not done their jobs or what. what's going on. Ah! I don't know what to do now. I think I should go, okay, down to the beach and see if I can grab some. I need to uh, harvest those trees as well, but see if I can grab any more shells. Keep my fingers crossed that someone will teach me how to make pearls. None there. <laughs> oh dear. So automation comes at a price, doesn't it? Yeah, I can't make any more at the moment because I don't have enough shells. That's awful. So I need to make sure that I'm always doing sapphires as much as possible. Um, oh no, they're all out now. They're all doing things now, so okay. to do something what's the point of having magic at all if we don't use it to help that poor lady i use my magic to help all the time but i help creatures not humans humans destroy each other it's all that makes them unique ahem as the only one of us who used to be a human let me say that isn't true humans are afraid of what they don't know but so are the fey we're not different and I can't hold up here, watching Sophia suffer. Say you help her, what if you're discovered, hmm? What if you transform? Interfering with human affairs does more harm than good. I would know. But you're... Uh, wait, wait, can't I just... Oh, drag, I don't like this. Perry and I are hundreds of years old. We've seen scads of witch trials. Never ends well. And as the senior members of Ravenwood Hollow, we're breaking this tie. No interfering. Ah, well, horse feathers! How much of that did you hear? Enough to get the gist. No helping. A decision I have to abide by, technically. But if there's anything you need... Wow. Thanks, Wesley. That's very generous of you. Okay, cool. I did want to chat to Perry. Wesley tells me someone in your village was accused of being a witch. Yes, but it wasn't someone in our coven. I feel terrible. Sophia is completely innocent. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with being what we are. You must be more careful. If they ensnare one of you, you won't be able to keep the wellspring in balance. Then more innocents will suffer. Okay. Let's go and see what Ariel wanted, because... Where's he gone? Oh. Ariel? Ariel, I need to ask you something about the mines. Ah, an exquisite habitat. What do you wish to know? Are you the one who drove it out of business? <laughs> yeah, I had it. <laughs> uh, the last, red hair. Someone figures it out. Yes. And did you hide all the keys too? <laughs> Most certainly. But I just... Why? The humans were making far too much noise. And the oars. They took and took. It hurt the animals that make the cave their home. The keys were a prank. 
A vicious one, true. But it worked. They lost their jobs. A lot of people worked in those mines. They had to leave once their jobs disappeared. Jobs, work, labor, blah. That's all humans talk about. Perhaps if they didn't salivate over jobs, they would have left the caves untouched. I can't tell Giva what actually caused the mines to close. That is true. You do not want to incur the coven's wrath. Or Perry's, I can tell you. Hmm, this is a very tricky situation with Giva. I don't think I want to tell her anything, honestly. I know she seems like she's really nice, but yeah. I'm gonna head down to level 20 of the mines and get that uh, that thing for... Uh, get the geological sample and I'm gonna take that to Shelby. I wonder where it'll be. Will I have to dig it up or like, will it just be on the floor here somewhere or something or... I don't know. That's gonna be a bit of a nightmare to find otherwise. Great! This is ah, okay. exactly what I needed for Giva. Alright, so I'll take that down to uh, Shelby. Because I feel like I probably need to push the story along just so I can get pearls. <laughs> oh, so much stuff to harvest today. I'm running out of seeds now, so I would probably need to go and see Lena for some more in the morning. I'm just going to take the fruit off all the trees, though. It's nice not to have to sell these anymore. I need to go into the... Oh, I need to get my watering can filled up before I go over to the... Over to the coven, because I'm going to need to do the uh, uh, water the enemies. Yeah, it's a compost bin. I need the lemons. don't really need the compost bin so much anymore. I'm going to need to water them like five times. So my watering can needs to be full. And then I should be able to. <laughs> Hurrah. Right, I've got time to run to Coven today. So I will give the rocks to Shelby. Luckily me saying that I was going to give them to Giver didn't seem to change the fact that I was able to still change my mind and give them to Shelby if I wanted to, so that was good. I was a bit like, oh no, this is going to be a nightmare, but it's fine, I think. So, Shelby, I have the rocks. I made it down to the lowest levels of the mine. Ah, have you? Good. Let me take a look at those stones. We'll see what stories they hold. All right. Uh, here they are. Oh, a great cracking. Like something being split apart. Uh -huh. and the cave filling up with damp. Water. Water. All around. It's okay. That happened in the past. We're still in the now, Farseer. Uh, 
Thank you, novice. What did you see? The first witches on this island. Thousands and thousands of years ago. The ones who built the stone circle. Wow. Whoa. And then... Then something broke the pillars, and an earthquake hit, filling the cave with water. You saw the stone circle change to what it is today. Seems that way. Powerful things, rocks. Hmm? Thanks for letting me look at the sample. Here's a little something as thanks. Freeze time spells. Nice. Right, so, not that I really use those. Okay, um, let's have a chat to Lena next. Adept, did you get a chance to examine Natalia? I did. I asked her to stop by the clinic for a cup of tea. And? It's as we all feared. The wraith that escaped the gloaming last night has possessed Natalia. Poor oh, Natalia. This is all my fault. If we hadn't gone into the gloaming... That shouldn't have destabilized the wellspring so profoundly. Something strange is going on. How do we get Natalia to take back what she said? This happened to a cousin of mine when I was a boy. Banishment is the only way to make a wraith leave for good. So we're basically doing some kind of exorcism. Wonderful. That's complicated magic. Well, complicated problems call for complicated magic, don't they now? We'll need something Natalia's made with her hands. Next, something that carries a memory dear to her. Hmm. And we will need a sapphire to capture the genie and fennel seed powder to bind it. Okay, I've been making fennel. Um, a sapphire shouldn't be too hard to get. Fennel seed powder? If you grow some fennel, you can pound it up in your mortar and pestle. Can't I just grind up the seeds instead of growing them? Nonsense. We need fresh seeds from fresh fennel. Novice, can you gather these four things? I think so. I'll do my best. Bring the things that hold a part of Natalia, what she's made, and what carries a memory to me once you've got them. I'll look within them. So, something she's made with her hands will be one of my iron bars or something, that'll be easy. The fennel powder will be easy because I've already got fennel. The sapphire will be a case of having a little bit of a look around the mines for a day or two. If they're powerful enough. I'll show you how to make the banishment incantation. And then something that's dear to her, we'll have to work that out. Be swift. Sophia only has a week until her trial. Oh, right. We've got a week to do it as well. So I already have the sapphire. Great. So we'll just keep that. Um, iron ingots, we already have. Fennel powder, we need to make. And a personal item of Natalia's. Hmm. Farseer, I have something to show you. How about this iron she made? Good, good. Hand it to me, and I'll read it. How do you read something without words? You give it a darn close look, of course. Hmm. Let's see. Careful, man. Careful. What are you doing? Who? Ah, she would curse you, wouldn't she? She's bitter. Tell me what you're seeing. You can't see? Ah, sorry. I saw a man. Must have been Natalia's pa. And a woman. Not Natalia's ma. Daughter of the local Bobka. Bobka? Isn't that a pastry? It also means spirit whisperer. A witch. Looks like Natalia's pa fell in love with the Babka's daughter back in Russia, but the girl died, and the Babka cursed her pa with bad luck. Oh, no. A curse that he passed on to his daughter years later. That's why she's so unlucky in love as well. Natalia. 
That's right. You've done well, novice. We can use this for the incantation. Come back when you've got something else to show me. Okay. You know what you've got to do? Gather up those ingredients. Okay, well, it doesn't matter that I have the sapphire, apparently. Fine, okay. Anyone else need to talk to me at the moment? No. Let me get back and get on with that then, because seven days is not long. And to get this done. So, so next episode, we're going to need to straight away be looking at Natalia. This is why I didn't want to plant those in enemy seeds. <laughs> you know, when you get a, a pause, I was like, I've got as long as I want to plant those. So uh, let's just do that, shall we? <laughs> And that's worked quite well. I'm just going to run past everybody. But yeah, I want to have a quick look in my uh, in, in my journal, sorry, as well, about what we're doing with Giver at the moment. Because um, you should tell Giver what you learned about the mine. But Perry will be angry about that. Know which way the wind blows. Sophia's trial will be in seven more days. So let's go and make the fennel powder and then we can just work on whatever it is we need to do for Natalia. Still no pearl powder though. Grr. So let's make the fennel powder. Now I've just got to work out about a, a personal item of Natalia's and then also I forgot to, I forgot to water them didn't I oh it's annoying yeah, there's so much going on I have time to water them I might not have time to get back I'm, I'm gonna probably have to use all of my potions now to to sort that out and i don't even know if i have the stuff to replace them just because i've decided to forget to go and do i did about three or four different things and then it's sometimes very easy to forget the last thing and if these are already watered i'm going to be cross no they're dry so that's perfect they needed, needed to be done they needed to be done me and violet on a mission I go through here there's like more stuff we can explore but i'm not worried about that right now i'm just going to make those and i'm just going to do the quests that we've got and i've got the spirit potion to get further if i need i can still run back i think i don't think i could have made both journeys but i think i can still run back and that will be the end of the episode because i've really gone over time on this one but I think I thought you guys deserved a bit of story in this episode because I spent so much time in the mines getting the whirly gigs up and running, and now I'm just like desperate for pearl powder. <laughs> like I need it so bad because then I can just mine and get gems and uh, that'll last them a long time, and I won't have to uh, maybe have to get one gem a day or something. I can just go and mine for diamonds and rubies and things. But at the moment, it's a bit of a nightmare. So anyway, let's go to bed. Time for bed. And I will say goodbye to you guys. And uh, I'll work on uh, progressing the story. And maybe Pearl Powder will pop up at some point. I don't know. So let's Aww. pop to bed. And uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>